Hey guys, Dave here with Transfer Express. Today, we are talking all about artwork sizing. So there's tons of different artwork placements and sizing that you could choose from, and we're gonna do an overview of the most common fronts, uh, inside tag and back prints that we typically see here at Transfer Express. Now, if you're new to the channel, Transfer Express is the leading supplier of digital and screen printed heat transfers for apparel printing. With two production facilities in Ohio and Arizona, we're able to meet the demand for our customers nationwide. We are dedicated to customer service and helping grow apparel businesses is our number one priority. Everything we do is focused on making sure we send high quality, fashionable custom transfers on time and on a budget. So, all about sizing today. What size should I make my artwork? Now there are a few different standard sizing, as we'll say, as shown right here. Now our standard sizes range from everything from our center chest all the way to our inside tag prints. So for our standard sizes, if you're doing a full front, we recommend somewhere around 11 by 11 inches. Now our max full front size that you could print with our screen printed transfers is 11 and a half by 14. If we're doing a left chest, you usually want to typically size it to four and a half inches by four and a half inches. Um, our youth goes to about a nine by nine to ten and a half, depending on the sizes on the order. For hats, you're usually going to want to keep it uh, five inches by three inches. Typically, we don't like to go any larger than two and a half inches because you may start getting into the top crown of the cap. Uh, and you, typically that's not where you want the placement to be. Uh, for the upper back prints, we usually try to keep it within three inches or so. And for tag prints, two and a half to three inches wide is about where it fits. On our Tag Along HP Platin, the brand new one that you could do the front of the shirt and the tags at the same exact time, uh, we give you a three and a half by three and a half area to print that tag print. So you're saying, okay, these standard sizes are cool, but what size should I make my artwork? And really it does come down to what your artwork is and what aesthetic you're looking to match. Now the number one easiest way to size your t-shirt graphic or at least get a great idea of exactly how it looks is to just take a single piece of copy paper or notebook paper and a ruler. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna measure out how big we want it to be. As you can see with this eight and a half by 11, we have 11 inches wide, eight and a half inches high, standard notebook paper, uh, which falls into that standard area. So you could just hold this up in the mirror to see how your artwork is going to look. If you don't have a mirror, you could hold it up on your friends or family members, coworkers, and see how it looks on the shirt. As you can see, eight and a half by 11 on me looks a pretty standard full front or center chest artwork. So that's why we typically recommend 11 by 11. Now, if you're printing a gang sheet here with Transfer Express, eight and a half by 11 gives you a whole bunch of extra space to put some other elements onto your gang sheet and maximize your print costs. So if you wanna do something a little bit smaller, you could always take your ruler and measure here um, and say we'll go, uh, let's do like a seven by seven inch to see how that's gonna look on our shirt. All we have to do is come down and we've got seven inches and seven inches and we'll just fold this up and hold it right up onto our shirt. So if our artwork is seven by seven, all we've used is a piece of paper and a ruler and now we can see exactly how that fits on our shirt. It's not the size we want, we can make it larger. And this is all before we've placed an order or printed anything so that you could be absolutely confident when you're placing your order that your transfers are the right size. So additionally, if you have a printer handy, you can just go ahead and print it out at size. So we use this work hard and be nice graphic and say at 10 inches or so is exactly where we want it to take up that full kind of chest area. Now with three fingers down from the collar, that's gonna put it actually about that high. And you can see and kind of visualize 
how this is going to look on your shirt. Using one of these methods makes you much more confident when placing your order that you have sized your artwork appropriately for your project. Now, Easy View Designer does give you a little bit uh, of sizing if you're going to be using Easy View. Here we have our design in Easy View Design Center, and we could just go down here to the bottom right in the apparel share button, and it's gonna take you to the mock-up. Now, while this is not exact, it does give you a fairly good idea of how your uh, artwork looks on most garments. Now, some of these photos are a little bit differently sized and nothing is absolutely spot on. So it's best to use the paper method or a ruler to just look at the common guidelines on the shirt. If it's the collar or if you're going by total height, you could at least size this appropriately and have a somewhat realistic mock-up uh, for your reference before you start printing shirts, whether that's gonna be sent to your customers or just for your own reference. So if you have your own tips that you wanna share, we would love to hear them from you. Just please comment below. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell to stay notified. Click the thumbs up if you learned something from this video. At Transfer Express, we are absolutely floored by your dedication to bettering yourself and learning and building your business. We are here to support you in any way we can. So that's what we're all about, education and inspiration to get you the maximum return on your t-shirt business. But until next time, I'm Dave and happy pressing guys.